The key to making change in cities is finding a way to work with the people whose job it is to build cities. Citizens, builders, regulators, and elected officials. The charrette is a process that does just that. Ever notice that cities all tend to look the same? This is a consequence of common zoning policies, many of which feed unsustainable practices. It's generally a function of a regulation that says this is going to be the parcel size and this is going to be the house size and it creates a market that only leads to one kind of product. As a result, unique communities are hard to come by. The School of Architecture and Landscape Architecture at the University of British Columbia has been challenging these policies within the Vancouver region for over 20 years. We don't think it's sustainable to have neighborhoods that are all one type of person with all type of one type of income who can't get a store in their neighborhood where there's no jobs and it's rendered illegal to have a little service business run out of your garage. We don't think it's sustainable to continue that and that's all done through zoning. This problem exists because conventional planning doesn't challenge policies. This involves designs passed from specialist to specialist. Lacking creative discussion, typically only design principles that are commonly practiced get passed on. The charrette is a holistic approach to understanding multidimensional design problems by integrating a team of diverse specialists. A number of people come together for a very short period of time to focus on a particular uh, problem. Part of the benefit of the design charrette process is it brings together people with a lot of different backgrounds, whether they be from planning, engineering, or from an academic background, environmental perspective. First of all, it educated people in a new way of looking at planning and development. Second of all, it generated a lot of conversation about how we could actually work around protecting the environment. The design charrette enables us to challenge conventional policies, but in order for it to be successful, participants must remain pragmatic. Do you maybe even want to have one of the houses in the district turn into a convenience store so you can get that liter of milk without having to drive for it? Those would all be policy changes, and they would all emerge from the charrette. The charrette has gained momentum throughout the Vancouver region as a challenge to traditional urban planning methods to actually um, uh, show the problem, uh, sit down together as a team with um, related goals and come up with a solution that way was um, empowering in terms of staff being able to speak their mind and, uh, and to kind of move forward not within the confines of existing policy but looking at the future.